What's up everybody, this is General Geibel and welcome to this hands-on video from my new sample pack Raw Style vs Psytrance. In that video I will use the loops and the sounds which are provided in this new sample pack Raw Style vs Psytrance which contains 8 construction kits blending up those two styles together in each kit. Since this is live we don't know if there is something good coming out of it or not. So I'm just gonna try to have some fun with it, build up a track just to show you the versatility and the possibility with this pack. Before we get started I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel and also activate the notifications button so you stay up to date when something new is up on YouTube and I would like to ask you to do the same on Facebook as well it's slash general guidebill like the page and you can activate to see my posts first so you also don't miss any updates on Facebook there are every once in a while there's some interesting stuff happening and some nice discussions so you don't want to miss out on that. Coming back to our session, this is our pack. Let's get started, I would say. And let's just open one pack. Let's maybe start with the Psytrance part. So we got that nice kick. Let's copy it through that. Um, let's go with a bass from something else. Why not? Let's see how those two go together. Okay, and I'm already starting to change it up a little bit. We're gonna slice it up. We could do it in the sample as well, but I think I prefer it that way better. Let's check out some of the other keys. Ooh, I, I think I like that. So this is G, we're gonna just pitch it down, minus one. And in order to make it sound right, we just shift it a little bit. And let's see what else we got. Pretty sure I would like that one. I could address like some sidechains since those are sidechained, but here I just could do a manual sidechain. We got sort of our simple baseline going. Um, let's look for, well, let's go here. Let's look for some snares. Yeah, something like that, which is not really too much in front. Awesome. Let's look for claps. Oh yeah, I think I would like that one. And we're just gonna reverse it right before the snare. Let's just see what else we got. So claps maybe. Here we also got some sand set up, like a big reverb, um, drum plate. A quarter delay and an eighth note delay so we're just gonna do a combination of the delays and the reverb just see yeah and here maybe a big amount of quarter 
and a little bit of eighth. shifted towards the end of our cycle let's introduce some hi-hats some rides That's good. Since we want to change it up a little bit. still don't like it so what we're gonna do is just keep that one completely straight for too many tricks in the beginning let's see what we can do in terms of the raw style kick uh, Let's go to E. I know we are in F sharp. Just wanna do something. I might gonna like that one. up the attack Um, I can't really cut it because the fade I need to print it so I just uh, click on command J so it's kind of consolidate I'm gonna print it into those files as well it's not, not really necessary but you know usually I would uh, bounce it down to one sample but I keep it like that <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we got so far. We got our upside transfer. Yeah, 
this one's an interesting one. So let's throw it in the sampler. Uh, normalize it. That's how I prefer it. And just in order to be able to play it according to key, I adjusted the root. can create some sort of a screech. Spread it out. Already had some reverb. up the resonance so bring in this shaper so we don't overload it yeah I'm pretty sure you can use some data as well right after that clap it would be nice some pitch like a tremolo effect so what I want to do is the sound starts as it is and it starts modulating up And I'll run up towards the end. Let's use this side chain. As you can see, I'm just fooling around. Just don't know myself what I want to do. Yeah, we can also do something with that. Shot. Um, normalize volume. Also put it back to... Um, I also don't want this straight attack, so... spot and as you usually hear it in Psytrance I want also to have this kind of long delays and also sidechain that one We can start building up our track. Um, I'm just gonna copy this kick. For the intro, I want um, sort of a smaller kick or with less bass. So 
Oh, I could automate it, but we have unlimited tracks. A while ago I built a nice audio effect track, which I kind of call DJM filters. It is just basically an auto filter from Ableton and the lower the frequency goes, the higher the resonance goes. Very important is, as soon as it's on 127 or on the high pass on zero, it bypasses the plugin. Because um, those plugins also change the sound, obviously, even if you don't want to. So here we're gonna do some automation. Um, maybe we can also introduce some more percussion in the beginning already. Yeah, this is good amount of top loops and percussions and whatever. Yeah, this one could be interesting. And we just... Yeah, just take that piece. Now you can also hear what the plate is about. So bringing in the same sidechain compressor, which is not doing anything because it's a sidechain to the kick on the first channel. So. This one would be good for the beginning. It's an atmosphere. And we need also some effect sounds. I think this one could be pretty cool. So now we're going to the stamps as well. So here I just don't want to automate it so I just bring down the samples.
more hi-hat. And already snares. Still something that's a little bit missing. Just a straight open hi hat. Obviously we know this one is an um, E, so I could also look for the one shot, but I just cut it out like that, check, okay cool, gonna drop it on a new channel, like uh, a MIDI instrument or sampler, crop it, normalize and Put it in a sampler so I can adjust the route fairly easy.
resample it actually. And that's pretty cool. Other, most other DAWs are able to do that shit as well. Um, so in that case, also since I'm gonna resample it, I'm gonna go out full power. So don't get a shock; it's gonna be loud. Cool. So for now, I'm gonna leave that here, but I'm probably not gonna need it. And I put the kick in a sampler as well. Just make sure sometimes you use like some heavy plugins. The start time might be off. But well, not in this case, this is good. Um, one thing I figured out, uh, it's always good to turn off the filters if you do some pitching because that changes the sound a little bit. And the LFO, just CPU and shit. Um, one thing, uh, probably my other videos you've seen it already, the way I do all pitch and stuff with, with, with the glide, so we're gonna see it here as well. Okay, this motherfucker is like brutally loud now, so let's bring it down. Um, the kick should be around minus 12, let's find it very loud so let's bring it down maybe minus 14 um, minus but they're kind of popular right now so that doesn't sound really cool maybe they're a little bit too short uh, all right of random tricks um, we can repeat that same stuff obviously for a full track you would do a little bit more of effort but here we just keep it simple up the attack um, there are videos on my channel if you don't know what I'm doing here check it out
usually you would bring in some different shit just for the sake of variety <laughs> just gonna now copy it through like that and I'm gonna take bits and pieces from everywhere a little bit so this is like very lazy right now but you know you get the idea I also wanna get that track done or track or like that little piece of <laughs> not shit of music <laughs> let's see how it goes check the whole cake arrangement <laughs> when you fill up like make more holes and fill it up with snares and other drums um, but overall we can just also add some more drums yeah, this one is good for the second part bam 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 this one is definitely different bam, bam, bam. clap very nice. So I'm gonna take out the snare here, go with the full clap. Oh, this is the top loop I looked before, but I don't need it now. This one's also good, but I don't need it now as well. I might gonna need that one. It's even a different key, but. Ableton, you get away with that usually. Let's go with tones, maybe. And it's not the best algorithm, but most of the times it works. Um, we don't want triplets, so we're just gonna build it ourselves. Since it's a long note, it's not really time related, so it doesn't matter. Things 
pretty much the one which we used already, but we used it here again. <laughs> Nothing without the crash. Bring it in. It's not the most beautiful for this particular thing. Switch it up, maybe. of the track done. to C3 I mean make it a little bit shorter Give it a little bit more of release got pretty much our kit done let's uh, hear it again and hope it's cool the way it is
Alright guys, um, here you just seen a very 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 small amount of possibilities which you can do. There's much much more, especially when it comes down to slicing up different effects and all that type of stuff. You can really create amazing stuff with that. And even on the example of um, the raw style kick, you can see if you got the right source, you got the right sounds and a little bit of creativity, a little bit of ideas and, you know, a little vision, you can make a nice kick in a couple of seconds. So, yeah, as I said, um, now this pack is available. It contains eight construction kits. There's a video out there um, walking through all the sounds and the demos you can hear them on loop masters of each individual kit or you can you know hear the full demo on my youtube page and um, yeah make sure you check it out and if you like it i would highly appreciate if you buy it instead of stealing it because as you can imagine there's a lot of work going in not to mention the decade of like sitting at home not having a life and you know learning to do shit like that so um you know it's highly appreciated if you guys appreciate it as well well thanks for tuning in make sure you subscribe check out the other videos also you know if you liked it um i would be happy to see a like or a comment i really like to see comments and see what people think and yeah see you next time bye bye